guys, what's going on? Today I'm back with another video. Again, second video of the day. And today, this may look familiar, but we'll get to that in a sec. I have Lego Side Changer 2.0, and that is exactly why it looks familiar. So guys, um, there was a person who commented on my Side Changer video a few, I don't know, days maybe? I don't know. But he commented, use real Lego. And I thought he meant the wheels. And so, and also, I didn't really like the color scheme to the last one since, of course, the gimmick was changing sides and I had to do something that would make it look okay if he had a uh, purple on him. And that's why the color scheme is like that. But guys, this is the way I wanted it to look. And um, so I just kind of made that. And the real Lego part, I thought that maybe they meant the wheels. And so, as you can see, I swapped the wheels out with actual Lego pieces. And, again, that's really a minor difference. The color scheme's minor difference. The way the windshield is built is a minor difference. These are two separate pieces back here, which is kind of a minor difference. Since in Decepticon mode, he had two separate pieces. Now he doesn't have tail lights, but I'll probably fill something in there to cover up those gaps, which was originally with the tail lights for four. But again, it's not very different. And so guys, for comparison, we'll even do the side changer himself. And um, you'll see differences in a sec. Okay, so as you can see, very blunt differences from Side Changer and Side Changer 2.0. This one had to kind of sit propped because if, again, if it was straight, it would just lean forward. So that's the best way you could get it to go straight since, of course, the wheels. And this one, the wheels are both Lego pieces and they are black pieces, which again, I took from um, my Lego brawler, which someone also said, I think it was the same guy, but he said, well, they said that the, the wheels should have been black pieces. And I couldn't find the pieces then when I was making him, but when I was making Side Changer 2.0, I found those pieces, and so I decided to use them. And um, guys, he does come with a weapon. So, bring this weapon in. Um, as you can see, it's not very different from the original one. Maybe slightly different, but overall, same flamethrower. So, again, just kind of pegs on right there. And now he has a flamethrower. It is built slightly different. I believe it is, but I think the only real difference is this this piece right here. It even has the same flame piece, the same connection point, and I think it had a lightsaber handle on the first. So let's bring that in. And yes, it did have a lightsaber handle, guys. But I you see, major difference is color scheme and it doesn't have a stud anymore since this had a hole on the front and i do like this flamethrower better simply because it kind of looks like it's heating up so it goes from kind of like a pale white to a gray and then a red and then the flame comes out so it kind of looks like it's heating up and i think it looks kind of slightly better so guys, that's pretty much it for the vehicle mode. So to transform him is exactly the same. Just bring the feet out, bring the arms out. Just enough. Oh wait, guys, forgot about that part. So that way you get clearance to bring the arms out. Bring the arms out again. Rotate the windshield around and up like that, and then bring the head forward, just kind of bring the arms the rest of the way out, 
As you can see, these pieces are colored differently, but I don't really care because it's one piece. And I'll probably find a replacement for it soon. And guys, there's Side Changer 2.0 in his robot food. And as you can see, he is nearly exactly the same, other than the fact that the wheels are, again, different and the color scheme is different. But guys, there are. There is this new piece here. Again, the windshield's different. Overall, it's basically Side Changer 2.0 as the name. And um, the head is different slightly. It just has a different colored piece for the eye, which really isn't much of a difference. Again, technically, it's just color scheme, but again. Um, there is a difference on the back, and, um, that is that this piece isn't here, and this piece kind of holds the arms together and prevents the connections on the shoulder from wiggling around and kind of knocking each other out of whack, whereas this one kind of so moves slightly. And, uh, again, not much to him. He can hold his gun, just like... The original side changer. This side changer doesn't have what swords, but I'm fine with that. I'm not even sure I really have the pieces because I'm creating this whole thing of transformers and I'm kind of going piece broke. Well, not as you can see right here, but all my pieces that I want to use are technically scattered in my drawers. And by that, I mean my Lego drawers, which, of course, is my storage for them. And overall, I, I do like this one a lot better than the original. I made the updates. This is kind of originally how I wanted him to look. But then I thought about rolling wheels, and it didn't really make the vehicle mode look like a Lego Transformer. So, I think this looks way better. And that the color scheme actually... It definitely looks better, especially with this stripe on the windshield and just, in my opinion, I, I love the way this guy turned out and he is, just the color scheme alone makes him look a lot better, a lot more natural than my other side changer, my other original version of him. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time. Peace One out. quick thing. I did go back and check. And the guy who told me about making Lego pieces for the wheels was named Dude with Some Bricks. So, we'll make sure to check him out and subscribe to him. And I'm going for real this time. Peace out, guys.